my lovely people, it's Jackie and Jackie's Cooking. And today, honeys, I am going to make a delicious macaroni salad with salmon. Yes, we switching it up a bit. Instead of adding tuna, why not add some salmon, you know? Just going to make this nice, delicious side dish, or it's even good by itself. So let's get to work. My loves, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, please go ahead and do so. And don't forget to press that notification bell so you can get weekly updates on all of my delicious recipes. And don't forget to like and share. Let everybody know Jackie's cooking. So my loves, these are our ingredients. We have some macaroni. Okay, we have some sazon completo, complete seasoning. I have some chili, garlic chili paste. I love this stuff, guys. Some sugar, black pepper, some sweet relish, some paprika, some Creole seasoning, some onion, of course our delicious pink salmon, some good mayo, okay, good, good mayo. Don't get that cheap, I don't know. The old mayo is not the same to me, but anyway. Some chicken bouillon flavor. Some celery. Some mustard. And my favorite, green seasoning. And some vinegar. Some regular salt. Some oil, some sweet peas, and some eggs. Yes, some eggs. Indeed, makes a difference to me. Well, my love, we are going to take our eggs and we're going to boil them. Okay? And my love, the ingredients are listed in the description box below. Okay, so now we're going to take our pot and we are going to get this started so we can boil our macaroni. Okay, so we're adding some salt to the water. And we're going to add some oil. And the reason why I add some of the oil, I guess I don't like sticky, clumpy macaroni. So I, the oil will keep it from sticking together. Okay. So we got that water boiling. And now we are going to add our macaroni. Just follow the instructions on the box. Okay. Okay, so we took our macaroni out, and I'm just rinsing it under cold water, my loves, because I wanted to stop cooking, okay? So that's what we're doing. So now we are taking our salmon out of the can. Now, here's the thing with salmon. Sometimes you, well, really, you have to go through it to take out any bones that may be in there. I mean, the bones are somewhat soft, but I would take them out just to, you know, go through it and take out any, I like to take that black skin off the salmon, okay, and any bone, so it's really not complicated to go through it and to just clean it up, okay, so we're going to do that, and um, the proportion of macaroni to tuna is perfect, I cannot stand when people make um, tuna macaroni or whatever, salmon macaroni salad, and you have all this macaroni and a little bit of tuna or salmon. You know, no, that don't work for me. So, you know, this was the perfect proportion for me per cup of macaroni to the amount of salmon that I'm going to be using, okay? So I'm just cleaning it up here. And that will be set to the side. Okay, just like that. Okay, so we are going to cut up some celery. I'm gonna cut up some celery, chop it up. 
um, like in a nice, decent size. Not too big, but not too, too, too small. I'm not mincing it. I just, you know, I like a little bite. Um, and I'm going to do that with my onions as well. I don't like big hunk of onions, but just for a little bite, okay? Um, if you have some peppers, you can add peppers in there as well, okay? This recipe makes a nice base, so if there's other stuff you want to add to it, by all means, go ahead. Okay, just like that. Nice bite, nice little sizes. Want that little bite. And we're going to do the same for our onions. Okay, so now we are going to start on our dressing. So I got my good mayonnaise. I love Halman. Um, I just listen. I don't care what anybody say. A lot of times people say, oh, it's the same thing. No, it's not. I don't care what anybody tell me. No, it's not. I love helmets. I've heard of Dukes. I've never tried Dukes, but I've heard it's pretty good and they use it a lot down south. But I'm up north, so I love helmets, okay? But that's me. That's me. Okay, so get your favorite mayo, and I'm going to add a little chili paste. You don't have to. I just like a little bite. Okay, um, luckily, if you think that's something, I would usually chop and mince some um, scotch bonnet peppers in here, too. Oh, yeah, like he. Okay, but again, you could pull back. You don't have to add that, but it adds a nice little bite, Okay. So we're adding our relish. No, actually, that's my green seasoning. I'm sorry. That's my green seasoning. And I'm like, you're probably like green seasoning. Yeah, green seasoning. It has um, garlic, it has onion, all other stuff in it. All right, adding a little bit of mustard, some good mustard. Now we're adding our nice sweet relish. I love sweet relish. I really do. I love it on hot dogs. I love it on my burgers. I love it. Okay. Now we're going to add some black pepper. Okay. Um, the black pepper, you could adjust it to your taste. I'll put down the measurements, of course, of how much I'm using. But if you want to use less than that, you can. If you want to use more, you can. Okay? Now I'm adding my Creole seasoning. Oh, yeah. I like that um, Tony Churchery's Creole seasoning. It's really good. Okay, right, now I'm going to add my chicken bouillon flavor. Okay, a little sasan completo. You don't have to worry about the sasan completo because it's not really high in sodium. It really is not. It really is not high in salt. So that's why I use it. It has a lot of different herbs and stuff in it as well. Garlic powder and all that stuff. Okay, so we're just mixing that up. Okay, and I'm adding my paprika. I need that little red hue in there, that, you know, that little signature with the paprika, when, especially when you make potato salad, you gotta sprinkle not only in the, the potato salad, but you gotta, you know, sprinkle on top, that's the little signature <laughs> for the dish, okay? Now we're going to add some vinegar, okay? The vinegar is going to add that twang. Okay, um, acidity in this, to me, it's, it's, it's so good and so important. It just livens up the flavor. And we're going to add some sugar. And guys, please do not be afraid to taste. 
That's what's part. That's what cooking is about. You have to taste as you go to just adjust your flavors to make sure everything is where you want it. Okay. Okay. Add in a little bit more sugar. Tasting it again. For me and my husband, so and this is well to me. This is pretty much like a small batch. It's just for me and my husband, but he loves macaroni salad. He loves potato salad. He's a southern boy, so he loves that stuff. Okay, so now we are going to start putting our macaroni salad together okay we finish the dressing I like to do the dressing on you know make it bit make it and then put everything in there okay so now we're going to add our um, onions and our celery again if you want to add peppers you can okay I didn't have any peppers in the house at the time but it's just good without it, okay? And now we're gonna add our sweet peas. Sweet peas, no, Jackie. Sweet peas, I get tongue tied a lot. <laughs> okay, I love sweet peas in this. Not only does it look colorful, but I like that little hint of the little sweetness from the sweet peas that it adds to this. Okay, and we're gonna mix that together. Okay. Now we're going to take our salmon that we just cleaned, okay, and I'm going to add some of it at first, okay, but this salmon pretty held its, held its shape, you know, it's still maintained. You know when you buy some tuna, cans of tuna and stuff and some other stuff, it tends to like disintegrate really quickly because I still wanted to see some of the chunks, so that's why I'm adding it in portions, like half of the salmon then add the other part later, but it's pretty much how it's um, shaped. Okay, so now I'm gonna chop in my eggs, my boiled eggs. My boiled eggs were cooled after they were boiled. This is old school. When you see me cutting it like that, you could put it on your cutting board or on your plate and cut it. But, you know, this is, you know, when you watch how the elders used to do it like this, cut it like that, okay? Cute memory. And you're probably like, what, eggs in, ma in tuna salad? In tuna, I mean, I'm sorry, in macaroni salad? Actually, yeah, my husband got me hooked on to that. You know, again, he is stubborn, so he got me hooked on to that. Adding some eggs into it. So I was like, okay, all right, I'm feeling that. Okay, so now we are going to add our dressing. Okay, now um, I left an egg one of the eggs, I'm going to use it to de de decorate the salad, okay? So we're just adding our nice dressing. And we're going to combine those together. And again, guys, please, taste your food. Okay, so now I'm going to add the rest of my delicious salmon. And this could be made the day before. Okay, this can make, be made the day before. Um, as a matter of fact, it's going to be better the next day. It's like potato salad. The longer you let it 
rest in the refrigerator, the better it gets, okay? So that's when it's really, the next day it's really gonna be really good. So yes, you can do this the day before. Okay, so we're mixing everything together. Okay, I'm tasting it. Tasting the flavor. Remember to taste your food. Don't be afraid to season your food. Okay, and season doesn't mean it has to just be with salt. Now you just have to watch how much salt you're putting in there. But like stuff like garlic and all that other stuff. You know, don't be afraid to add flavor. You don't want bland food. Oh, I can't stand people that cook so bland. Ugh. So I'm adding some more black pepper. And I'm going to add some more, I added some more mayo because I wanted it to be a little bit more creamy, okay? You don't want a dry macaroni salad. You want a nice cream. I mean, you're not looking for like something over the, you know, overly creamy when you have all this drop of mayonnaise, but you want it nice and creamy and moist. You don't want dry mac. I can't stand dry macaroni salad either. That's one of my other pet peeves. Okay, I'm adding a little bit of white salt. Okay, again, this is where you're adjusting your flavors. You know, again, this is what I mean by tasting your food. Okay? And seeing what else you may need. Adding my paprika. Again, because I want to see that color. I want to see that little hue of, you know, a little hue of, uh, it's like a little undertone of red. Like that nice reddish orangey color, little specks of it. As you can see I'm tasting, adjusting my flavors, getting it to where I want. some accent you could use some accent they have the low sodium accent as well that really helped wake wake up the flavor as well so I did stick a little um, accent then I'm adding some more black pepper Okay, we're giving it a nice stir. And the flavors were right for me. So now we're gonna chop, slice the remainder of our eggs. I put it in another bowl because I want it to look cute. Okay, and I'm doing my signature, of course, the little over, you know, old-fashioned signature with the paprika, and boom, there you go. Doesn't that look so good? And it's, guys, it was really, really good. Really good. So guys, enjoy this. Enjoy it, enjoy it. It's a great side dish. 
Enjoy life, enjoy food, and have a good day, have a good life, and love one another. Bye.